counting equal groups to find how many in all. Coach Potato Head is getting ready for basketball tryouts. He has a cart that has two shelves of basketballs on it. And each shelf has three balls. We can skip count to see how many basketballs Coach Potato Head is going to start tryouts with. And the reason we can skip count is because we have equal groups. So we'll skip count to find out how many basketballs in all. If we were to skip count by three, two times, we would get to six. Three, six. So Coach Potato Head must be starting tryouts with six basketballs. Jeff wants to use the same cart in the library. He's going to use the cart for books. And he's going to put five books on each shelf and use all three shelves. Okay, let's think about it. If we had to count by five three times, how many books would we have? If you said 15, you're correct. If you're ready to try this strategy in class, pause the video and grab your math notebook. Janice is planting flowers in the backyard. Her garden has four beds and each bed has two flowers in it. In your notebook, we want you to use skip counting to find out how many flowers does Janice have in the garden. <laughs> 